<laughs> so we are expecting to build blocks which are worth 3.3 billion under Ministry of Education, and of course, this is one of uh, uh, one of our objectives or our plans as NRM clearly put under even our National Development Plan 3 where we are looking at improving the human capital. Of course this is one of the most hard to reach uh, sub-counties which, uh, which is bordering DRC and of course the biggest challenge that we have been having is the school dropout especially for the girls. The rate is too high and of course uh, as leaders we have agreed that we have to come up and we talk to the parents because we have realized that uh, a part of uh, the problem are our parents who want to marry off their girls when they are still young. And something interesting is that nobody reports because these girls are still young and that is a development case. But as leaders we are going to, uh, we are going to make sure we come and talk to our parents and also uh, encourage them and show them the benefits of education because uh, marrying off young girls of uh, senior two, senior three uh, is not really good for us as a district. I think this cannot be done by government alone. We need to bring everybody on board because these are our children and you will not expect government to go up to your home to tell you that you bring your child to school. This should be a concerted effort by all stakeholders and especially to the parents. I think that's why even our ministry has come out to put uh, regulations and guidelines of parenting, uh, which we are disseminating. Because our, as parents, I think we are failing somewhere. Because you cannot be a, a parent and you know that you produce this child and you cannot take care of the child. Producing and throwing there is not enough. We have to produce, we groom these children to become responsible citizens tomorrow.